Hi guys, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I will be doing a what for career mode and maybe a bit of open team, foot draft, maybe a bit of foot champions, you never know. Live streams, stuff like that. I'll be uploading once every two or three days, just depending how long the videos really take to edit. Now, what we're going to do, right, is we're going to check the money, the squad hub. I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so this is my money, 42.13 million and 115k wage. So I'm going to just minimise that down to about 38 mil, put the wage budget up so I can sign more players on a higher wage. And that is my, what is my, what do you call it, finances. Right, now we'll check my squad hub. So Ben Foster. Probably a starter this year. I don't really think I need a keeper at all this year. He might be a bit old, but obviously next season, new keeper will be needed. He's on loan. See, he's quite decent. He could be trained up to be a, probably a first team keeper if his potential is good. Got him. I've got Gomez. He's retiring, so he'll be the bench keeper. Got this right back, Feminia. Bench player, we've got Navarro, can't fuck with that. Got Jan Matt, who will be going on the transfer list because he will not be needed. Got two loan. I put, I'm gonna tell you, he's been, got 12 months. Mariapa will be staying around. Prodo will be going. Brutos will be going. Kafkart will be staying around. Cavaceri will be staying around. Left backs were really limited in left backs. Messina, he's a, he's quite a tall player, but we we'll probably will be signing the left backs. I don't really want Jose Holivas as he was retiring at the end of the season. He's old. He's not the best player, if I may say so. Cachalo Ball, young, good player. He will be trained. Capu, probably a starter to be honest. You've got waves, you see. Decore, starter, animal, brilliant player. Forster, not, not really what I'm looking for, oh, he's, he's 20 year old, 35, when he comes back from loan he's going to be a keeper on the team, we've got him, cleverly, obviously I don't want him, Sema, we'll keep him around, Pereira, we'll keep him around because he's a good player, put this guy, oh, we can't loan him, Will Hughes will keep him around, De Feo, he is going to be a keeper, he's going to be playing on one of the wings, probably I'd say left wing, so I'm really, I think I'm looking to sign a left wing, I'm a right wing, probably David Neres or something like that. Oh, I've got Hernandez, young, a little fast player, good player to have. Jerome St. Clair, my team, my son and boys, team I support, played for them. The centre back, he wasn't good enough, so when he comes back, he's not going to be staying. <laughs> oh, Kata, don't, not really what I'm looking for, but he's out on loan at the moment. He's young, he'll probably be staying around for a bit. Cassidy, loan him. Dini, he's the, he's the captain. He's got to be kept around. Success will be kept around. And Andrige will be sold. Might surprise a lot, couple of you. But he's going to be get. I probably could get about 10, in between 10 and 15 million. So get the money, buy a better striker. More success, if you ask me. I'll see you when I have got some players on the transfer hub. Okay guys, I'm back with the first pre-season game. We're going in with a 4-4-2 setting variation, two CDMs. We'll, we haven't like done anything to the team, but we'll have a bit of a 3-1 win. We're waiting for nine days to scout all these players, which will be finished on the ninth because I started on the first. But as you see, pre-season it's gonna get with extra money in yes and I know I do not want to sell Christian Cabaselli because he will be probably the starting centre back this season 27 years old Belgium 78 rated quite tall quite fast he's gonna be a main part of this team this season to hopefully we are hoping to get top six uh, yes there is one guy I do not want in this team Sebastian Pro, 31 year old, too slow for my lightings. I need faster centre backs. 
And Will Hughes, he will not be going. He's a young player. He's going to be a talent when he grows a bit older. Let's just get rid of all them. And we have got a second preseason game now against Levante. We're going in with an unchanged side, obviously. And we do pick up a 3 1 win. 2 3 1 win, though. We should be through to the semi finals of this preseason tournament. We're looking like a strong team in preseason, and we still haven't bought a player. What is this in the office? I mean, I will quickly check. It's international management and another offer for Prudel, who which will be accepted. So, whichever team wants to get him first, it's he's definitely getting so basically, there's nothing else we can really do. And we are, we are, home, we are gonna play the last. I will come back to this after this game. We're just going to play it against Alaves. Who unchanged side again. Hoping to get a good strong win. And yes, it's 2-0. This team has been shown to be dominant so far. Very, very dominant. Oh God, we do not want that. We are quickly... I mean quickly going to go offer to Corey a new contract. So he cannot be bought for his release clause because we're Okay guys, here it is. The starting game. Of course, people. Yeah, you didn't see this bit because it just wasn't going to accept. And there's no point in really showing you. But it's the first game of the season. What everyone has been waiting for. Against Brighton. We are going with our home kit. They're going with their home kit. Okay, now I will show you the team. Okay, so. Sorry guys, but I signed this Joe Linton from uh, Hoffenheim. I don't think it's in the record in the recording because it messed up. But yes, I got him. He's quite tall. He's quite good. Neres, my new signing. We're bringing Tarkowski. 
massive defender next to Cavaselli. We've got Juan Bissaka. We've got a solid team for the first game. With this other bench, these are the reserves. But for now, let's go. Okay, let's go. First game of the season. We are playing a Brighton. And we need to win this game. Let's go, Watford. And it's Neres now who picks up the ball and passes it to Juan Bissetta. Plays it to Tarkowski. Nice playing of football at the beginning. Now Prepa. Oh, Capu has stole the ball now. Through to Joe Linton. Joe Linton has put a brilliant... It, he's just brilliant. He is a brilliant signing. Brilliant finish. Nice driven shot there. He has put us 1-0 up against Brighton and Hull Valley. Brilliant from Watford early on. First 27 minutes, 1-0 up. Hopefully this can continue. Now Brighton play nice football around. Stevens now and Andoni. Down the look area. Andoni, oh that's a brilliant run for Bernardo. Oh he's on for a cross. Oh he's nearly crept in. That's a nutty from Brighton. Now it's false Foster, sorry. Pretty Holly Bass. Oh he's played a bad pass out. It's a cover from Decore. Oh Decore is making a brilliant run through the middle now. Who's playing it? Dead of three. He's playing banger in the net. It's a brilliant goal and it's an even better celebration. Brilliant from Watford who are now 2 0 up against Brighton. Looking to continue that form throughout the season and hopefully they can win this game. Now Brighton will kick the ball off and it's your hands back. Into Perfan out. Now look at here. And gross now. In Hugo Mayo. Jahash back. Finds Hugo Mayo. Oh, it's bad defender by. Oh, it's even worse by Tarkowski. He's made a massive mistake. And they're going to call. And that is my custom throughout the game now, Watford. It's 2 1 to Watford. But there's still 32 minutes left plus stoppage time. It's Kapu. He's put it on the left. Oh! It's Joe Lennon! He's he chip it! Oh! It's brilliant from Joe Linton. With a brilliant finish. The sub has came on now. Feminia for the right back. Juan Bissaka. Joe Linton gets his second goal of the season. And now Watford will make the sub. And Horvath now plays it Cabaselli. So he's made a bad mistake. Gross is going to put it in to Glenn Murray. Oh, what a volley. What a volley. And what a goal by Glenn Murray, the old man. Now it's going to be half again. Kicked off again by Watford. It's a very close game right now. But Hughes. Oh, he's found a brilliant pass. Oh, and Hughes to Dini. To Neres. Neres looking for a goal. He's holding up a little bit. To Hughes. It's finished the game. It's over and Watford have horribly won now. Most definitely I would say. It's a good ball, good running from Neres, good finish from Hughes and it's brilliant from Watford on the first game of the season. Gross now, into Murray, into Prota, into Dada. Dada, the fine Murray, he gets his second goal of the season. Bloody hell, this is a close game so far. But hopefully now Watford can see it out for the last 23 seconds. It's brilliant from both teams today. But I believe Brighton should not be going down with a performance like this this season. But for now, that is the end of the game. And I will see you in the outro. Okay guys, so that was that is the end of the video now. I'll just quickly show you the league table. So as you see, we are sitting in third after winning a 4-2 against Brighton. Three points, goals away. Well, we did concede three, but they showed positivity for the season, you know. It's gone four goals. I know they're not the best team, but still, when you're Steinen getting second top scorer in the league already, he is going to have a quality season. 
He say did it through there, but Glenn Murray, old man, yeah, he put he, he gave a quite a challenge, you know. Well, that is the end of the video now, guys. If you enjoy the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.